Hey guys, it's Brandon Bitch on 9 and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to get shards faster, whether that's time trial shards or just the craft, uh, crafted shards that you need to craft uh, shiny or just normal crafted units or fighters in uh, Anime Fighter Simulator. So before we get into it, uh, I'm going to go over the time trial shards first, how to get those faster, and then after I'm going to explain how you get these crafted shards faster. But before I do that, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like the video and click the subscribe button down below as it helps the channel out a lot. So let's head on over to time trials as it uh, it's about to start right now. 12 seconds later. So here we are in time trials. If you don't care about the time trial shards and only want to see how to get the crafted shards easier and faster, then I'll put a timestamp right now on where you can go to... Uh, on where you can go to get uh, the uh, crafted charts faster, but right now we're, I'm going to be talking about time trials, which some people are going to be joining me, but... <clears throat> Basically, for time trial, time trial shards, basically how to get them the fastest is to use these collector units, which I already have a full team of them. Uh, they're not all collector 3, or uh, they're not all collector 3, or like collector 2. They're only uh, collector, <coughs> some of them are collector 3, some of them are collector 2. But basically what these do, uh, what collector does, is uh, it increases the drop rate of, of time trial, like time trial runs so it's a lot easier and faster to get the uh, shards like for example i already got one and uh it's a lot easier with auto clicker because as you can see and i don't like have to like drag my mouse down to a uh, click click it every single time so obviously as everyone knows magnet and auto clicker are is going to be a very useful game pass in uh time trials uh, but it even as a free-to-play player you can still do this uh, tactic to like get more time trial shards because anyone can get these uh, anyone can get these boosts I'm not boosts I mean uh, passives uh, it, no matter if you're a free-to-play player or not it just might be a little bit hard to go through the time trials without like many game passes like pay to win players like me so uh, once you have your units you should want to equip them once you do get to higher rooms you can't you can't use these specifically anymore because they're too they just get too weak like for example the best one is 800 million while well, my best unit right now is 18 billion well obviously i have uh, my best fighters in the incubator obviously to uh you know get them to higher levels to get myself stronger and uh we left one back there let me just get that and uh that's basically all you need to know about the time trial shards uh if you want you can like you can get friends on but if you're only looking for shards and not for yen then i recommend you only like do it by yourself maybe in a vip server or like in a private server like well, i mean in a server with like no one inside you can find that with like roblox plus or whatever but uh, uh the reason why is because the more people there are the less uh, the less things you're the less minions or mobs you're going to be able to kill and uh so that means you you have you're going to have a lower chance to get these time trial shards so i'm going to uh time skip it or like cut it and then uh bring it back on once i do get to uh the rooms where i start struggling and uh i need to switch to my stronger team my actual da uh, damage team so uh see you once i get there all right so now we're back and uh basically these villains have gotten like the boss have gotten like strong enough to where like it takes a little while to kill them like for example here it has a 136 billion hp and uh I'm killing it pretty slow. Where uh, if I was using my main DPS uh, main team, then uh, they'd be they'd be like this uh, mob would be dead really really quickly. So let me explain once I uh, finish killing these. Uh, basically, after you get to the point where you like can't beat it anymore with uh, your your collector team that I like for, like uh, that I have right there. Uh, then you you want to switch to your actual main team with all your damage, so uh, you can like actually go, uh, so you can like actually go, and uh, beat these beat each room. And uh, the reason why you like you don't need to really switch. Like for example, if I was using my main team and uh, I wanted to grind for yen after every boss when it's about to die i would switch to like my solid gold team and rich team so i can like uh so i can get uh, a lot more yen uh with here uh, once you're here 
uh, you might think that you do that with like with your collector team, but that it doesn't really matter because the drop chance of these time trial shards they increase with the uh, the amount of HP that the uh, enemy uh, the mob the enemy mob has. So uh, like at the start, you even with my collector team, you could see like at the start, I really wasn't getting that much uh, like that many. Uh, time trial shards and uh, after a while as you can see I've gotten 107 time trial shards uh, and we're at room 67 right now so not too far like I could definitely go higher but uh, after we clear this floor I'm probably just gonna leave uh, because obviously <laughs> these guys uh, <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna leave right here because uh, soon actually I'll go one more room because just to get these guys to uh, room 72 for the uh, extra star boost. So uh, once we leave, I'm gonna show you guys uh, like your. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the crafted shards. So uh, let, uh, let me just speed this up real fast. Alright, so we have reached the end, or uh, reached room 72, so I can get these guys the uh, the extra star open uh, upgrade. So, uh, after I kill this last mob, I'm just gonna, uh, this last mob I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, leave, so I can show you guys how to get the crafted shards. So, uh, yeah, we're here, let me just click this, uh, clear rooms, and then uh, leave and go to Lucky Kingdom. So, basically how the time trials works i did forget to mention this in the uh, last in the uh, last part with the uh, time while well, i was in the time trials but the time trials always starts at uh, a uh, uh, 30 minutes past an hour or just uh, on like uh, during like on the hour on the dot so let's say uh it is 4 26 which it, right now it's like 4 like 40 because i just did the uh, time trials let's say it's 426 the time trial the time trials would start in four minutes because uh it would start at 4 30 and then after you finish that it might be like 4 45 or something so then the the other the next time trial will start in another 15 minutes because the time trials uh, the next time trials will start at five so it'll go like five five thirty six six thirty seven seven thirty eight 830 just so on and so forth you get the idea and for the crafted shards it's a little bit different let me get this notification out of the way first for the crafted shards it's a little bit different uh for yeah uh, you know these shards let me open my inventory you know for these shards uh the lucky shard i have a few of these lucky shards and uh destiny shards and blindfold shards <clears throat> these are a little bit different the uh, the raids you get these from raids if you don't don't already know and the raids always come at uh, 10 minutes before like the next hour so like uh, let's use the uh, other example again 435 I'm not 430 450 550 650 those are the hours that are li that'll uh, have the raid uh, so every hour that like that has 50 you know so basically every hour on uh, at 50 that that is when the raid like shows uh, the raid starts obviously if you guys have ever been in a raid before it start uh the raid it first says something is rumbling in blank which is which that tells you where the raid is and uh, uh soon i don't know like exactly when it should say that in the chat uh we'll just i'll just tell you guys about it before it does uh it'll so it says something is rumbling in the chat right here and also on the top of your screen so everyone can see and uh it'll have a timer of 15 minutes and the raid starts after that 15 minutes is over and no one else can join after that 15 minutes have passed and then you have 10 minutes to beat the raid and uh try to get the shards at the end and if you do and you're uh, you are able to beat the raid then you uh will get the shards for whatever that world uh raid was so right now it is 449 <laughs> like it's actually 449 so less than a minute we're just waiting for this raid pop up uh i can't really show you proof that it is 49 you're gonna have to test this out yourself like and you can see that like come back to the game at like f at a 50 whatever time it is uh in where you are and uh, you can check which raid it is, and if you don't need that raid, or you don't want it, or you can't even beat it, 
uh, you can basically just uh, you can just uh, uh, you can see which raid it is and uh, choose if you want to uh, do that raid or not. Another tip for if you like can't get on, you're like doing something else or whatever. Uh, you can go join any discord server like there it is something is rumbling in empty dim dimension uh, So what you would do is you'd either use this uh, teleport game pass Which I don't have or uh, you would come to here the teleport and uh, they added uh, Remember in the update 13. I'm pretty sure it was they added the icons for uh, for like the raids uh, you s you would scroll down to your raid it would be empty dimension but right now I can't really see it because the raid just came and you have to like wait for it eventually it'll show up the uh, the raid icon in empty dimension so as you can see if we come over here you might have to look for a little bit in your world to find the raid but uh, right now I'm having a little bit of trouble I can't really find it but uh, eventually you will find it I don't know where the raid is right now but uh, We'll just, after a little bit, uh, once it does actually show up, then, uh, well, then I'll show you guys how the raid works. So, literally after, like, two seconds, uh, I said that the raid icon has popped up. This is what it looks like. It's like a rock rocket ship with, like, a beam of light, uh, just shining up in the air. And, uh, that, it's in the world that the place rumbled in, so, and, uh, you don't really have to look that hard. You just have to, like, get there. So this is what the raid looks like. It's uh, behind the boss in Empty Dimension. It's uh, his name is Obato. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know the anime that this is about, but this is the raid. This is uh, the raid that you can join. So this one is just a regular, just regular Empty Dimension raids. Uh, if it is yellow and it says that it's massive, then obviously it's a massive raid. And massive raids. I'm just going to tell you right now, we're a lot harder than the regular raids. Um, and also, another thing, the raids, the difficulty of the raids, like how much health everything has, depends on your world level. So it doesn't, uh, like your highest island level. So for me, it's Lucky Kingdom, which is the last one. This would have around like 3 trillion health if I, if I tried to solo it, which would still be pretty easy because I have a strong enough team to do that. But, um... That's basically how the raid works, and uh, if you want to like get extra like notifications on a raid, you can join at like any Discord server that does have it. I'm in a, in a, dirt, a certain Discord server. Uh, it's it's another uh, big YouTuber's Discord server. His name is F minus Mike. You might know him. You might not. Uh, but uh, you can join his Discord server. You can join whichever server you want. They have raid pings basically. Uh, they have a bunch of mods or pings and admins that ping whichever raid just landed. So, uh, for example, the Empty Dimension just landed in their Discord server in the uh, in the raid pings uh, chat. They would have just pinged the Empty Dimension. The Empty Dimension raid just came down. And uh, you can self-roll yourself, which if you don't know what that is, you can give yourself a roll in their self-roll Ch channel and uh, give yourself the role to uh, get those pings every single time that it that uh, they do ping it, which would uh, be whenever this uh, this raid or <laughs> empty dimension does uh, come down. I'm not specifically going to do this raid because uh, I don't really need the shards. But uh, basically, once you if you don't know, once you do get in the raid, there will be a boss that spawns. He has a shield. You can't you can't damage him until you kill all of the minions mobs enemies uh like the small mobs enemies uh but around him and once you do once there's zero enemies left you can like actually start hitting him and once you do one fourth of his uh health so he'd be at three fourths uh, health left uh he'll get the shield again and uh there will be more mobs that spawn and you have to kill them you have to keep doing that until you finally do kill the boss so i'm not going to be doing that raid because i don't really need it i don't even have any empty dimension characters so i'm i don't really need it so i'm just not going to do this but uh if you do need this raid obviously you can uh and you can't do it you can ask other people on the anime fighters a discord or they uh, some people might offer to carry other people 
if, and it, if you do have a private server, that's going to be very useful because uh, some people, they only care if you have a private server. A lot of people actually, uh, most people actually carry only if you have a private server, or server so it's going to be a lot easier. Uh, just say in like the grinding chat in the Anime Fighters Discord, which you can just find at the anime fighters game if you just scroll down uh, to their discord you can join and go to grinding the grinding chat and say uh looking for a carry i have a private server and someone will probably dm you or private message you and uh tell you that they can carry you and yeah that you, they carry you you get your shards and everyone's happy so there are two things that you can use these shards for in this game and uh the first one is more common to newer players which is crafting or like more inexperienced pay players crafting basically what you need is uh the obviously the shards that i just showed these are the empty dimension shards they look like a sword and like obviously have that or like every other shard and uh you also need three of the mythicals from that specific world island or whatever you want to say so i don't even have a single mythical from this island it's because i don't really care about this world that much uh i forgot what it uh what the mythical is i'm pretty sure the secret though is aizen uh, but you would get these three mythicals and then you get these five shards and make the crafted which is a lot stronger i can show you like how like how strong they are Let's go to uh, Virtual Castle, and uh, which I crafted this one. Uh, I do have this crafted, and uh, let's see the uh, Mythical. It's 99 damage at level 1, while the Shenkai Max or the Kirito is 150 damage at level 1. It's a lot stronger. It's like, <laughs> it's a, it's 50% a stronger, a little bit over 50% stronger. So, obviously, these crafteds are very useful. And if you do turn the shiny on, you can get five of the shiny mythicals, which is really, really difficult. It's like getting five secrets, but it's even harder. And you need 20, 20 shards, which is also very, very difficult. Like, I don't even have 20 shards of anything right Right now uh so the, this the shiny one is very difficult but it does pay off it's very strong let's uh go to the virtual castle again i have made the uh shiny shenkai max or kirito uh, i have it right here this is uh the this is a shiny shenkai max so uh let's go back and let me show you how strong it is the shiny is 170 and then you go to here the shenkai max is just a like very very strong the uh, shiny version uh, i also do have the destiny crafted so let's see the uh, gilgamesh is uh, 220 at level one and then the uh i forgot who this was but clarent uh the crafted clarent shiny is 330 so obviously it's very very strong to uh, make these shiny crafted so the second thing that people use their shards on are these passives and uh usually only like the more experienced players uh people who have been playing for longer use their uh use their shards for passive rerolls because they make your they make your fighters a lot stronger like for example uh like my john d'arc it's uh, even though my uh, Shenkai Max Shiny is supposed to be stronger than my John to Arc, the, my John to Arc has a, a strong three passive on him. So like, if I uh, go to John to Arc and uh, go to let me turn off Shiny, go to one sixty nine, his damage is supposed to be twenty five billion. But since I have this strong three passive on him, this fighter does fifty percent more damage. It does thirty seven billion damage and that's insane and it, it's really really useful it's one of the best passives in the game but uh that's why people use their shards on these passive rerolls and uh if you're a newer player i recommend you just use them for crafted because crafted are still really strong and uh you're not really gonna get enough like shards to like actually reroll a bunch so uh if you are wondering, by the way, the best uh, passive, which uh, you can see all the passives by clicking on index in the passive reroller, the best passive in the entire game is this one right here, Tactical 3. What it does is uh, it lets you do, it makes you do two times the damage to bosses. And the reason why is because it's two times the damage and it's to bosses, which uh, everyone 
like usually everyone just goes for the bosses and like that's and it's and, like it really nothing else basically so uh two time it won't increase your damage per click which is mostly what people look for but uh it is really like the the best passive it's really strong it just makes you do two times more damage and it's really really op especially for uh like secrets uh, like the ones that i do so in this video i explain how to get these time trial shards faster which i know a lot of people want for these defense tokens right now because everyone wants to do the, the new defense mode and i also explained how to get the world shards that people use for passive rerolls and crafting stronger units so remember to leave a like subscribe as it helps the channel out a lot a lot because it's hard being a small content creator thanks for watching and bye bye